two main parts to the frame, the neck and the base. You tighten up the thread and pull it in so that it's nice and taut, not too taut, just where it connects without anything bulging. And then you screw this neck into this groove right here, just like a screw. That's it. Now it's time to string the chandelier. And then I want to do it to save money so the electrician doesn't charge me for doing all that labor. Now, as you can see, the top is smaller than the ones hanging at the bottom. And you have to make sure that the butterfly clip is facing you. Just so you can see the sparkle. Look at that dance around. I can hardly wait till I finish getting it together. These come already half strung. So after you've done all your little counting of all the spaces that you need, what you do is you go in and reinforce each piece of metal so that the uh, crystals can't fall off so quickly. Okay? One, two, three, four on the top. Hook it in, fold it down to lock it on. And then on the bottom, every other. Even though all the lights aren't in, it still adds such a beautiful atmosphere with just four little old 20 watt bulbs. And these are old light bulbs too. So I just wanted you guys to get a feel of how beautifully they sparkle, how fiery they are. And these are not Swarovski. I can't afford Swarovski. One of these days, if I get a windfall, I'm going to replace a lot of these with Swarovski crystals. But now, no. No, I'm staying in my lane and in my budget. <laughs> I'm not going to be silly. That can wait. That can come down the road. Beautiful. 